So from a loaded ammunition standpoint, the, the initial rollout, we wanted to look at what are some of the more popular cartridges that, that folks are shooting. So we've, we've got a 223 with a 73 grain. We've got a 65 Grendel and a 65 Creedmoor with 130 grain and a 308 Winchester with a 185 grain. So that was kind of our genesis for this initial offering is to look at some of the more popular things. And you know, the 6.5 caliber has just taken off tremendously over the last couple of years. And uh, we wanted to make sure that was part of our lineup as well. Well, the 6.5 AR OTM tactical bullet that we've partnered with for both the Grendel and the Creedmoor, its design was essentially born from us wanting to find a bullet with the highest capable BC that could reliably feed through a magazine. And I think we've accomplished that. It's flatter shooting trajectories with little difference in wind drift with bullets of heavier weights. It's really given the competitive shooter, especially the PRS shooter, to have a flat shooting cartridge with a higher percentage of hits if he's not using wind tools uh, you know, at unknown distances. So we feel that that's been a real success. Yeah, and so I tell you, some of the uh, the guys at the factory that have been into some of the precision rifle shooting, taking some of the loaded ammunition that we've we've taken out, the uh, the groups and the accuracy and the precision that they're shooting with, and the and the pictures and images that are coming back to us are just fantastic. So we've obviously hit something that's that's very good here. Yeah, and the six five Creedmoor, it's great to see the excitement that it's brought back into the industry and the competitive shooting disciplines not only in the AR platforms, but in bolt rifles as well. Yeah, exactly. And so again, when you look at the, the popularity of, of cartridges in, in different calibers, the 223 Remington um, is another one that's, that's real hot. Yeah, and we selected the 73 grain boat tail bullet for that offering, and that was the result of a contract request for us to submit several different bullets for accuracy purposes and we landed with that 73 grain bullet design because of its high BC capabilities yet it's tangent ogive to have reliably feeding through the magazine again as well. It's been a huge success for high power competitors up to 600 yards as well as the new gas auto uh, classifications for PRS so a lot of applications now for that bullet as well as new uh, Savage 10 series rifles with the 9 twist it, definitely fits for the bold action shooter. Yeah, and then finally, you, you just have to have a 308 win in, in the lineup, and, and this, you know, it continues to be one of the more popular and one of the most popular cartridges in the loaded ammunition marketplace, so we, uh, we definitely wanted to make sure we included that one in this initial offering. Yeah, the 185 Juggernaut, it's been a real pleasure to see that being a best-in-class bullet for long-range F-class and high-power type shooting as well as PRS. The catchphrase juggernaut actually came from its ability to work its way through the transonic stage to subsonic. It's been such a great success at long range that uh, we decided to dub that and it's stuck with the competitors. Yeah, so that's, like I said, this is our initial lineup in, and I'm, I'm excited to see where this thing can go because we've got some, some pretty neat things uh, in the back of our minds of where we take this and, and some uh, real cool additions for, for the following years. We're glad to be a part of this partnership and we look forward to releasing more offerings. But thank you.